Hi, I'm John Grant, and welcome back to the Johnny Grant Show. Today, I'm talking to former Seahawks strong safety, Kelsey McCray. Kelsey, how you doing? I'm doing good, John. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm great. Thank you for, uh, so much for coming on today. No problem. Thank you for having me. I'm a fan of the show. I watch a lot of the uh, other guys, some of the guys I played with, some of the guys I didn't. Um, but, yeah, man, I'm a fan. I'm pretty, uh, thank you for having me on here. Yeah, I've been uh, trying to get you on since I was back doing the Seahawks Storm. Now I'm got my kind of own show, trying to do more than just Seahawks. But on this interview, I'm very interested in your Seahawks career because I'm a very big Seahawks fan and a very big fan of that Legion of Boom era, which you were a part of. So recently, Marshawn Lynch was talking to Shannon Sharp about how he didn't really have a great relationship with Russell Wilson or Pete Carroll and how Marshawn Lynch didn't even have Russell Wilson's phone number. You were around Seattle in that time when all of them were there. What was your experience and what was your relationship like with Russ and Pete Carroll? So I actually saw that. I just saw that the other day. Um, but uh, I wasn't there during, during the uh, Super Bowl when they won the Super Bowl or when they lost the next year to, uh, mm -hmm. to New England. I came that following year. Um, so those guys were already established. They already had names for themselves. Um, but, you know, I never, me personally, I never had any problems with uh, anyone on the team. I think, man, Russ's relationship was pretty cool. Man, uh, Pete Carroll's relationship was pretty good. Uh, I actually liked, um, you know, Pete Carroll's coaching style. Um, I came in, I think he was, um, you know, he gave me a new, uh, I guess sense of motivation, not just not just um, not just him, but you know the entire team, the entire organization, the way it was ran. To me, um, coming, um, you know, I had been in the league, you know, four years at that time. I had uh, you know played on a few other teams, saw a couple other, saw a few other organizations. Um, but yeah, I, I was I was impressed, man. I was impressed by the organization. I, I really didn't have anything bad to say about it. Yeah, that's why, I mean, when I looked at my phone and I saw that, I was I was pretty surprised because most times I've talked to a lot of former Seahawks players and no one's ever had anything bad to say about the culture, which leads me into my next question. You were being you, – you were traded from Kansas City to Seattle. What was the culture like? Um, It was just different. You know, I can't say that – one team or one culture was better than the other. Um, but it was just very different from day one when I stepped in, uh, stepped into the facility in, uh, in Seattle. You know, it was just a different feel. It was a different atmosphere. Um, there was a closeness, of not just with the defense, but um, honestly, I, I, I kind of felt it um, with the team. Now, everything wasn't always uh, perfect. But um, by the time I got there, coming from being on four other or three other teams, um, you know, I kind of and I came in the, the, the you know, the later part of the run, the last half of the Legion of Boom. Um, and, you know, as I, I kind of I guess as an outsider, you know, I kind of picked up on the, the closeness uh, of it. So. I think to answer your question, it was just two completely different things, two completely different cultures, two different organizations. Spent that 2015 season there. Who were the guys that you built a bond with over that time? Um, so honestly, you know, I think the entire secondary was the, was kind of, I'm not going to say everybody was super close, but, you know, I was kind of, you know, friends with uh, everybody in the secondary first. Corner safeties, nickels. Um, outside of that, I, my, my first day, uh, my first day in the locker room, I remember Deshaun Shedd, Stephen Terrell, um, even Richard Sherman came up to me. You know, they welcomed me to the team. Uh, I had I had known Shedd from, um, you know, me and him had a couple battles uh, when I was in Kansas City. He was in Seattle playing on special teams against each other. 
So I had knew of him before I got there. He had, you know, knew of me. And um, so those were some of the guys where when I first walked into the building, kind of um, accepted me, um, you know, came up, introduced themselves, welcomed me to the team. So in that 2015 season, in the week 15 game versus the Browns, Cam Chancellor went out with an injury and you came in to fill in for the rest of the season. What was it like filling those shoes of a guy like Cam Chancellor, who was such a big part of the Seahawks defense? Uh, it was, it was, uh, well, it was awesome, I guess, but it was also kind of, um, you know, Cam Chancellor and not just him, but, you know, all of those guys, you know, Earl, uh, Sherman, um, but those guys were, you know, staples on that, not just that defense, but staples on that team, you know, and I think Cam Chancellor probably, um, in my opinion, probably, um, you know, the, 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 you know, the heartbeat, you know, of that, um, that defense. I think he brought a lot of uh, passion. He brought a lot of emotion to the game. Um, I love the way he played. I respected the way he played. Um, so I think what I wanted to do was I didn't want to go in and I didn't want to try to be Cam Chance, you know, because that's just not me. It's not who I am. We have different skill sets. Um, you know, I probably could never do what he's done. But, um, you know, I wanted to go in and do what I can do to the best of my ability. And, you know, hopefully my skill set can add something to the defense. So I, I, I wasn't looking at it as I need to bring the same thing that Cam Chancellor brought to this defense. I need to bring Kelsey McCrae to this defense. And, um, you know, hopefully it can it can have an impact. So that was uh, – that was – that was awesome, you know, but it was also kind of a, I understood the shoes that I had to fill, uh, and it wasn't it wasn't an easy task. Yeah, now I mean you did pretty well. You did very well, recording thirty six tackles and two pass deflections. You were a guy that when you went to five different teams in the NFL, the Seahawks, the Chiefs, and uh, what team would you call your home team? when it comes to your career? My home team, Seattle. Um, that's still my team now. You know, I still root for those guys now. Um, still got a, you know, a couple buddies there coaching, uh, Sean Shedd and Nico Thorpe. Thorpe. Um, you know, they're still there and we, they're, they're coaching and those are guys that I played with. Um, and I, I, I say that they're my team because I think that's the, um, that's the team where I felt like I had the closest bond with the most guys. Um, also, I think it was just – honestly, it was a special team and special uh, special players on that team that I still keep in contact with today. Uh, you know, a few of those guys I, – I just got married um, a couple years ago. A few of those guys came to my wedding, um, you know, and I still keep in contact with, uh, you know, a few of them now. So, um, yeah, that's that, man. All right, Kelsey, thank you so much for coming on today. I really appreciate it. I'm really happy that we were able to make this happen. No problem. Thank you. And I'm glad you had the stats and everything pulled up. I see you did your homework, man. I appreciate that.